hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel as you can see by the title of this video we will be creating our own custom animated subscribe button similar to this one right here just to give our channels a little bit more customization and make it stand out a little bit more from others you know we don't want to use the basic subscribe buttons anymore we want to create our own okay so let's get right into this video of course we are using canva for this tutorial um the sizing doesn't really matter but it's right up here if you want to use this um the first thing i'm going to do is go into elements and search for a green screen and i'm just going to pick the first one that comes up this one is a pro one but i'm sure they have free ones as well if not you can go to google type in green screen and um use one from there but just pray for pay for a pro account and you won't have to do all that okay so you can try canva pro for free i'll leave the link down below in the description that way you can have all these pro features like the rest of us okay <laughs> all right so now you want to pick the shape that you want your subscribe button to be this one's going to be like a really small one so i'm just going to choose a rectangle and um like size it the size that i want and put it right here at the bottom so going back to sizing i changed my mind i feel like going ahead and making your canvas the 1920 by 1080 helps you see where it's gonna be when it pops up on the screen. Yes, you can resize it after the fact, but I think going ahead and making this canvas this size, it lets you know, hey, this is how big it's gonna be on your actual video or whatever. And y'all know I like my rounded corners, so I am going to round this up just a little bit and I'm gonna make sure it's down to where you can't really see the bottom ones like this similar layer to this so it's just basically gonna pop up from the bottom if that makes sense all right so i do want this one to be like that um grayish color something like this i'm probably gonna play with the sizing a little bit more because i don't think it needs to be this long but we will see as we go along right here i'm just gonna grab a frame and find one of my random pictures that I have on here to use as the profile picture. Um, let's go with this one. I kind of like this picture of me. One of my goals this year is to take pictures for my brand. Like all of my pictures, I don't mind taking my own pictures, but I have like a specific idea Cause I really feel like I can take my own and edit them the way that I want to, but I don't know. I kind of want to do professional ones. I don't know. Maybe. Okay. So what I'm doing is just making a frame, not a frame, like an outline for my picture just because I want to, it's nothing that's necessary. Something like that. It looks off to me but I'll fix it. All right, so all I'm gonna do is fix the positioning on it, make sure it's centered and in the middle, and I'm gonna take it down to where it'll fit down here. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so I can see, and I wanna make sure it's centered as far as the box as well. I need to make it a little bit thinner because it's, overpowering my picture and I don't like that okay I'm gonna put it at about an eight yeah okay we can do that all right and then next thing you want to do is grab you some text and put your channel name and whatever else that you want to add um typically you see people put what their channel is about or you could just put like subscribe don't miss out on the next video like just some type of little message or whatever so i'm gonna put evetta made it 
and the font it depends on whatever font that you want to use so for me i'm just using my brand fonts um that i have on here because it really it doesn't matter i guess it, it matters but it doesn't matter <laughs> depends on preference if you want to have like a really fancy looking font or whatever on your button then great go ahead all right, and then right here, I'm just gonna put um, brand and graphic designer. Um, so during my break, cause I did take a break after the Canva series, I decided that I wanted to do, um, I wanted to try, I guess, I don't know like do more brand designing and as far as brand designing that's where I start it starts to finish um, I make your logo your brand patterns sub marks um, your packaging all of that type of stuff like I want to start doing that to help people people's brand be more on brand I guess <laughs> like a lot of people um, designer hop and you can tell that they're using different graphic designers. So I wanted to start offering that service and I've been practicing so much and I really can't wait for y'all to see it. So I am kind of rebranding. I, I did decide to go ahead and do the rebrand. I want to record the process of me um, basically rebranding my business as far as logo, um, brand colors and things like that. Um, and I do want to take you all on that with me. So I probably am going to upload it. If y'all are interested in seeing that process or whatever, just let me know in the comments and I will figure that out and try to make that happen. If I get frustrated, then y'all are not going to see any of it, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> okay. So for the button, we want to have your notification bell your subscribe button um oh we can do a like okay so the notification bell goes down here somewhere and then i'm going to put the subscribe button um i like to make my own because i like to do two of them and i'm gonna show you what i mean by that but um canva does have subscribe buttons that you can use if you want to use that red one i don't so yeah I'm just going to take this, duplicate it, and make it smaller. Of course, I need to change the color so I can see. Okay, so I do want it to be longer and slimmer. I don't think that's slim. Let's see. like it's too round so let me turn this down a little bit okay i like that okay so i'm gonna have to resize everything else because my like button isn't gonna fit or i could just do subscribe and a bell notification depends on the person okay so this is gonna be our like button is that white why does that look gray And I kind of want it all to be like um, the same spacing. All right. So since that fits perfectly right there, I'm going to resize my um, photo and the text on this side just so everything fits. Try to get that spacing as close as it is to the other one. Okay. So this is pretty much going to be our button. I'm going to make this white. I think I want to make everything white starting off. All right. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and type subscribe right here. And then we're going to just duplicate the page. All right. So... 
this is our button isn't it cute yeah I know <laughs> all right so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and duplicate this page and I'm going to change each one you know as if when you click on it it changes the color or you know that type of effect we want to give it that effect so what I'm gonna do is click this one I'm gonna change it the color that I want it I'm gonna duplicate the page again I'm gonna go ahead and change the subscribe button to the color that I want it and then I'm going to also change this to say subscribed and I think I want the text to change too yeah I like I like it white better all right and then one one more time we're gonna duplicate the page again they just gave me some random one down here and then I'm going to change the color of the button so if you you get it it's like click here click here and click here and it changes yeah I know once I put it all together yeah oh my like button went down there why I don't know but I'm gonna re um, organize them because bell subscribe and then notification wait no like subscribe notification all right so that is pretty much it for our button we're gonna go ahead and go into CapCut and add the actual animations so what you want to do is just download all of these as a PNG file to your computer or phone or tablet whatever you're working on and then we're gonna go into CapCut one more thing before we go into CapCut of course we need a mouse to actually do the mouse animation <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is just grab one really quick from Canva um, of course you can Google these or anything like that but since Canva has it I went ahead and grabbed one from Canva I just went to elements typed in cursor and then I went and picked the one that I wanted to use for this specific video I'm gonna do is resize it on the canvas and just save it as a transparent background so that we don't have that white around it when we take it into cap cut we've done this before in plenty of other tutorials you know how to save stuff as transparent background but once you get your mouse then we're gonna go ahead and go into cap cut all right so i have everything that i need to go ahead and animate my button i have all of my button slides and then i have my mouse as well so all we have to do is click here add it to the track add each one to the track and then we're going to edit it okay so right now this is 20 seconds long that's we don't want it 20 seconds long um, you can wait to the end to edit everything down but I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it now just put them all at like two and I know for sure I'm going to either make them longer or make them just a little bit shorter but for editing purposes I'm gonna go ahead and make them shorter now okay so now it's like eight seconds okay so right now it's just a boring button <laughs> and as you can see you see how it looks like it's changing we're gonna put the mouse clicks in between each one of those so first of all we want to pop our um, button in so I want to add an animation to it um, pretty much it depends on whatever animation you want I just kind of want it to slide up from the bottom so let me try to find one that slides up here it is right here and I want it to slide up like that see that is kind of fast so I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit probably to about one second yeah just like that so like if i'm in the middle of a tutorial this will like just slide up you know kind of ease on up into the video to let y'all know to subscribe or whatever okay so right here i just need to figure out where i want the mouse when i want the mouse to come in to start the clicks so like as soon as it finishes sliding up i want the mouse to come in so right here i'm just going to cut this um cut this part of the video out and delete it 
and you can do that by either right clicking and hit split oh cut or you can just drag it to where that is and now it's right there where i needed it okay so now i'm going to add in the mouse and i just want to put it right here okay wherever y'all want it to go i guess and i'm going to resize it to the size that i want it to be which is like really small um, i'm just going to make this screen bigger so i can see because y'all i'm blind okay i'm blind and if i can't see i'm just going to assume that y'all can't see it either all right so what we're going to do is add keyframes to animate the mouse and make it, make it look as if it's clicking each one of the buttons um, we're going to start right here um, where we have the mouse coming in and just scroll so the button comes in and then the mouse slides up so we want to put our first keyframe right there and the keyframe is once you click on the mouse you're going to come up here into video and right here, this little diamond icon, it says add keyframe. You're gonna add one, and then you're gonna scroll down just a little bit to see like how much time you want in between each one. And then you're gonna add another keyframe. And when you add the keyframe, you're gonna move the button to the next icon. And this thing doesn't wanna move. You want it to be smooth so that it looks smooth in the video. So I'm probably gonna have to do this a couple times, but you just click on it and move it over. I don't know why it's not moving. Like, hello? There we go. All right. And that's gonna be that keyframe. I hope I'm doing it right. So once it hit this keyframe right here, it's gonna change to the subscribed button, but I'm gonna go ahead and edit those after we do these keynotes i mean keyframes because if i do them one by one i'm gonna mess it up so we have it here now i'm just gonna drag this down on the track and it's gonna add another keyframe all right and then we're gonna do one more for it to go to the bell. So all I'm gonna do is click on the mouse and drag it to the bell. That was not clean. Drag it over here to the bell and then it adds that other keyframe for me. And for the last part, I just want the mouse to go off the screen. So I'm gonna do animation and we're gonna slide it down. Like that, but not down there. Why did it jump? Okay, it just went out. So I will do the animation in just a second. But if you were paying attention, you could see how it slid down the button. So the button comes in. Oh, it changed my animation completely. That's why. Okay, it's back. All right, so if I slide it we got our button coming in then the mouse comes in click the like button subscribe button and then the bell all right so now i'm gonna line everything up the the like button is already lined up but i'm gonna go ahead and go to this keyframe and line up the subscribe button so all we want to do is drag it until it changes to the blue color Did I mess that up? Okay. Okay, so we want this to go right here. So I'm going to cut this one. I can't see my keyframe, so that doesn't help. Okay, there we go. And all you have to do is just keep going back and make sure everything is clicking how it's supposed to. And then we got one more, the bell. So right here is where we want our bell to start. So I'm just gonna drag this one down and see how it changed. 
And then after that, we want our mouse to go down and the button pretty much because we don't need it anymore. So right here, I'm just gonna split. Let's see how long it'll be. All right, so I can split both of them right here. Right here, I'm going to make this one stop right here. Well, no, because I want it to go down. So that gives them both time to go down out of the frame. So right here, I'm on the button slide. I'm just gonna go to animation and go to out. That's what I forgot to do the first time. And then select slide down. And the same for the mouse. Make sure you're in the out settings. That way it'll do in and out animations. And do the same thing, slide down. All right, so now playing the button. And then it slides out. Okay, perfect. So the hardest thing is gonna be the keyframes because I always forget when to add them. But now we're gonna add like mouse click sound effects. And also if you want like a swipe sound effect, you can do those as well. So we're gonna go into audio. I think CapCut has um or is it effects? Let's see. Let's go to audio. Um, sound effects and then you can like type in whatever you're looking for. I'm gonna see if it's a swipe one. Creepy crawlies. Mm -mm. Typing. Okay, no. Uh-oh. I'm gonna type in click. Okay, so mouse, let's see. Yes, that's perfect. So what we wanna do is where we want it to click, like where it changed colors, we wanna add the animation. So right there where it changed to blue, I wanna add a mouse click. Then I'm gonna scroll down to where it changes there and add a mouse click. And then I'm gonna scroll down to the last one. My last one kinda lags, but yeah. And I'm gonna add one there. And also again, if you wanna add an animation, a, a sound effect for when it goes off the screen, you can as well. If you don't see like the sound you want in CapCut, just um, get it from YouTube. There are a lot of people that have those sound effects that you can use for your YouTube videos. Just download it from there. I do wanna see if it has one on here though. Or like any type of, ooh, what's this? Mm, I like it, but I don't. <laughs> Magic transition. No, that's too much. Is that like a slide? Okay, I guess not. All right, so let's see what it looks like with the sound effects. See, the end of my button kind of lags, so yeah. But you get the point. <laughs> so all you have to do is save this to your computer. Save it to wherever you have like your YouTube stuff. So anytime you're doing the video, you can grab it, grab it really quickly and just put it on your videos. In order to get rid of the green screen, um, you just click on, well, it'll be one full slide. You won't have all these sections once you save it. But you're gonna click on the part of the video and go up here to video options. You're gonna click on cut out, get your chroma key, and grab your color picker. Once you grab the color picker, just um, drag over your video. Uh oh. This thing. Okay, drag over your video and you're gonna see the color picker come up. Of course, click the green part. And once you change the strength on it, It'll get rid of that green screen and now you just have your button and you'll have your video in the background. But of course, right here, I will have to do it to each slide since it's not one video right now. But once you save it, it'll be one video and you only have to do it one time. So I really hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.
just got time.